How genetic engineering is used to produce novel products. Genetic engineering is employed to create novel products by manipulating the genetic material of organisms. The mechanism involves several key steps that enable scientists to introduce new genes or modify existing ones to produce desired traits or substances. Here's a general overview of the process. 1. Gene Identification and Isolation The first step is to identify and isolate the gene of interest that codes for the desired trait or product. This gene can come from the same organism or from a different species with the desired characteristic. 2. Cloning. Once the gene is isolated, it is inserted into a vector, which is typically a plasmid, small, circular DNA molecule, in the case of bacteria or a viral vector for other organisms. The vector serves as a carrier to introduce the gene into the target organism's cells. 3. DNA modification. If necessary, the isolated gene may be modified to optimize its expression in the host organism. This can involve altering certain DNA sequences to enhance gene expression or to ensure compatibility with the host's genetic machinery. 4. Transformation or Transfection The genetically modified vector containing the desired gene is introduced into the cells of the target organism. This can be achieved through various methods such as electroporation, using electric fields to create temporary pores in cell membranes, microinjection, direct injection of DNA into cells, or using specialized techniques for plants and animals. 5. Integration and Expression Once inside the host cells, the introduced gene integrates into the host's genome. This allows the host to utilize its own cellular machinery to read the gene and produce the desired product. The inserted gene is transcribed into mRNA and then translated into the corresponding protein. 6. Product Production The newly introduced gene's expression leads to the synthesis of the desired product, which could be a protein, enzyme, metabolite, or any other substance encoded by the gene. 7. Purification and Processing Depending on the product, purification and processing steps may be required to isolate and refine the desired substance from the host organism's cellular components. 8. Scaling up Once the production process is optimized, it can be scaled up to generate larger quantities of the novel product. This is especially important for commercial applications. 9. Quality control. Rigorous quality control measures are implemented to ensure that the produced product meets the desired specifications and safety standards. 10. Application. The final product is then used for its intended purpose, whether it's a pharmaceutical protein, biofuel, agricultural crop, or any other novel product. It's important to note that the success of genetic engineering depends on the ability to deliver the modified genetic material into the target organism's cells efficiently and effectively. Additionally, ethical considerations, potential environmental impacts, and regulatory approval processes must be taken into account when developing and using genetically engineered products. Genetic engineering's mechanism has revolutionized multiple industries, allowing scientists to tailor organisms to produce valuable substances, improve traits, and develop innovative solutions to various challenges. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos.